So, uh, so hi friends. Uh, today we are going to start, uh, talk about equity versus uh, CCPS, compulsory com convertible preference shares. Uh, and uh, as you know, in the startup uh, change leaders community, we talk about uh, uh, the startup related, you know, some topic, some discussion, which is, and we meet regularly uh, on every Sunday at 11.30 a.m. Uh, today, uh, this is a, a discussion uh, on uh, how startups can look at uh, equity versus uh, CCPS. And uh, uh, we have, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to talk about uh, this converse, con compulsory convertible preference shares as an option for uh, uh, the investment and uh, how the investors look at it and how they are uh, kind of, uh, you know, uh, so what is equity? We all know uh, it is uh, uh, what the company's worth is, and it can also refer as value of your equity stake in a business. Mm -hmm. So um, all the investors who are investing in the company, they are looking uh, forward to uh, uh, enhancement in their equity value, right? So, so valuation plays a very important role. And uh, the investor also is uh, uh, investing in your company or in the equity of the company with the intention of uh, selling that at 3x or 4x or 5x uh, or 10x or 50x also sometimes uh, as a, uh, you know, maybe two years later, some people have a horizon of five years. Uh, but uh, generally speaking, people have a horizon of four to five years uh, when they are uh, actually uh, working on uh, this, uh, uh, you know, when they are taking their investment decisions. And uh, the uh, equity can be, uh, uh, you know, by the way of uh, normal plain vanilla equity uh, shares, uh, investment in the equity shares, or can be preference shares. And there can be uh, compulsory convertible preference shares. Uh, so we will talk about uh, what are the differences uh, between, uh, uh, you know, having a plain vanilla equity or issuing CCPS. What are the advantages? What are the disadvantages of the same? And uh, what is better uh, for the investor? And what is uh, uh, good for the investor uh, in terms of uh, uh, whether you should go for uh, this uh, uh, equity or you should go for uh, preference shares. Uh, as a, a startup entrepreneur or a person who's offering these uh, 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 to the investors, uh, again, we will look at what are the advantages for the investor community um, as well as for the founders. Now, uh, there are various uh, funds which are, uh, uh, you know, uh, investing in the uh, equity of the company. Uh, large cap funds are there where uh, they have a huge capital and they also collect uh, capital from uh, their uh, subscribers and collectively they invest in uh, uh, various uh, startups. So they have... Uh, uh, advantage of having uh, you know experts working for them and taking decisions of uh, identifying those projects which are very attractive and then they uh, try and uh, you know uh, put that money into uh, the uh, uh, funding mechanism uh, and they help the startups and they are looking for a very strategic exit uh, as I said, uh, some people have a five-year horizon. Somebody may have even lesser horizon. But uh, at the end of the day, they are all there to make money for uh, their uh, uh, people who have funded in their fund. And uh, then there are mid-cap uh, uh, funds, uh, which are, uh, uh, again, uh, uh, investing into uh, you know various... Uh, uh, startups. They are hybrid uh, and uh, uh, large and mid-cap funds, small-cap funds, and multi-cap funds. So, so uh, there are uh, you know different uh, uh, fund uh, houses, and uh, they actually uh, 
uh, you know, work out and invest on the equity. Uh, after all, equity formula is assets minus liability. Uh, uh, you know, that is uh, uh, your, uh, how you are going to uh, judge your uh, overall equity requirement in the company. And uh, it is not essential that uh, you, uh, you know, uh, only get into the equity funding. You, you can uh, also uh, look at uh, the uh, uh, other aspects. Uh, and uh, uh, also, uh, you know, uh, what is your credit worthiness uh, uh, in an issue? Uh, and, uh, um, you know, these are the deciding factor uh you know uh, for sorry, getting sorry, the equity yeah sorry, yeah sorry to disturb can you please allow some people are waiting in that uh, zoom is it yeah All right. <clears throat> Normally, I uh... sorry, guys, you have to wait. Uh, in fact, no problem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we, uh, I was not getting. Uh, the message from the zoom but uh, normally uh, uh, you know i have put the auto in maybe some security settings changed so um, all right we were talking about the equity versus uh, ccps uh, as to uh, what are the uh, you know benefits and uh, differences of uh, uh, getting into equity or ccps and uh, mm, uh, in uh, having in deciding, uh, you know, this uh, the deciding factors are uh, the credit worthiness to the issue, and uh, mm, of course, uh, um, if you are more of an independent solo uh, operator, uh, it uh, you know you can uh, uh, have a decision towards the debt also because uh, if you are uh, uh, you know. Uh, allowing uh, the you know having debt then uh, you uh, can repay the debt and you are not actually parting with your equity so all these decisions are uh, uh, based on the uh, how how it suits your uh, overall business requirement and how it uh, uh, gives you the uh, way uh, of uh, working uh, on this uh, uh, front just a minute i think there is some lag in my pc so uh, as you all know uh, what is con compulsory convertible preference share uh, it is basically uh, uh, giving fixed income uh, to the investors and it is converted at a later date so uh, this conversion can be uh, uh, you know based on a time span so it can be okay after 2 years uh, this will be converted or it can be uh, uh, kind of linked with the uh, predetermined uh, uh, you know so uh, for example some uh, people have that uh, okay when we are going to raise series a at that time, 80% um, uh, or 50% conversion will happen. Or, uh, you know, at uh, uh, series B stage, uh, my uh, conversion is going to happen. Uh, so uh, all these uh, uh, clauses can be, uh, um, there can be a fixed time span. There can be a, uh, uh, you know, another, uh, it can be linked to an event also. So, uh, and uh, these equity shares uh, are issued uh, after that uh, uh, when we hit that uh, situation when we hit uh, 
uh, that the time uh, at which we are uh, going to uh, show uh, that uh, these uh, uh, you know shares are going to be issued uh, so uh, uh, basically uh, we were discussing about this uh, uh, what are the deciding factors um, then um, also uh, would you like to share the ownership or give equity uh, to uh, the uh, people in the, your company or you want to keep the equity with yourself and bring in uh, money through, uh, you know, even bank loans can be the option. Uh, but uh, these days, uh, equity is becoming uh, uh, more and more uh, prevalent because uh, uh, it, it gives you more leverage and you can get better valuations uh, because you can get uh, money at a, a premium. You can share issue your shares at a premium and uh, can take that premium from the market. And uh, uh, also uh, you are, uh, uh, you can generate uh, uh, good profits and opt for, uh, uh, you know, that. So compulsory convertible preference shares, uh, mm, uh, what does uh, it do? Uh, one gives the investors and found, found, founders uh, rights on shares as uh, the company scales. Uh, also, uh, mm, uh, as the startups grow, uh, CCPS uh, will help them change terms uh, from time to time to protect the investors' interests. So you can actually, uh, you know, uh, for example, today you got a CCPS at a particular uh, on particular terms. So next issue of CCPS can be on a different term. So uh, you you can play with the uh, discounting, you can play with the uh, uh, time uh, at which the conversion is going to happen. And you can also, um, uh, you know, play with the uh, overall, uh, uh, how you're going to manage this one. So uh, this is again, a very important uh, aspect of, uh, uh, you know, converting your, uh, uh, overall uh, how you are going to convert it uh, into a, uh, you know, uh, and who uses it? Uh, one, the uh, internet startups, private equity back firms and fast growing companies, they are mainly uh, using uh, this as a tool uh, for, uh, you know, uh, investing uh, into the, um, you know, uh, the company. So uh, why do investors uh, 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 prefer CCPS? Uh, when, you know, investors are also investing, uh, they, they uh, uh, can actually uh, get better terms uh, in CCPS in terms of uh, that not only investing in uh, this part of the, so for example, we are at uh, seed stage. Uh, so there can be terms that in the seed stage, <coughs> we can uh, have a particular, uh, you know, criteria, but then uh, we can also have a, you know, uh, just a minute. So we can also have a, uh, sorry for this, uh, we can also have a, uh, for example, in the series A, uh, we can uh, uh, go for that, okay, at the series A time, the uh, offerings will be made at a 20% discount, for example. And then we can uh, plan uh, that, okay, uh, when the series B will be there, um, at that time, whatever valuation will be there uh, at series B stage, uh, we will give 30% uh, discounting to the people who are now uh, allowing uh, you are entering at this stage, uh, at the seed stage. So uh, there can be a very good structuring of your uh, CCPS scheme uh, where you can actually uh, give advantage to the people who are entering at the seed stage. And uh, that's that becomes a, a selling point also uh, for the company that you are making the offering to the investors uh, and they get benefited. Uh, 
uh, when they are entering uh, uh, and at that uh, when you are offering uh, for the um, other people at x amount they will get a 30 percent discounting or 40 percent discounting or 20 percent discounting as the case may be um, as per the terms so uh, so it is uh, uh, very important that uh, you can uh, through CCPS equity once issued uh, is issued you cannot play with that uh, you you of course the uh, valuation also has to be equal uh, if you are offering to uh, someone uh, equity at a x uh, amount uh, but in the CCPS this leverage is there that uh, uh, you can always offer discounting to uh, the uh, uh, the investors and also uh, it is uh, uh, you know uh, uh, the the profit potential uh, which is being offered uh, to the investor is uh, more and uh, uh, risk uh, is also uh, mitigated uh, so uh, it's a win win situation uh, for the uh, uh, investors uh, and also for the company you no know? so uh, let us look at what are the uh, different uh, uh, what is the difference between the uh, two things? Uh, one, uh, the basics of distinction is the voting rights. Uh, uh, so, um, uh, the in case of equity, holders of shares do do not, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, have a voting right. But uh, the CCPS, they don't have uh, the voting rights uh, for their except for their class meeting. So, a separate class meeting, if it is happening for the only uh, CCPS holders, only then they can vote, but not otherwise uh, in the day-to-day -day affairs of the company. So uh, from that standpoint, uh, the controlling interest is uh, uh, better uh, for uh, the, uh, uh, you know, it is a good situation for the company that the controls and the decision-making remains with them. Um, but uh, in case of you know equity shares issued, uh, they uh, have the voting rights, so uh, your controls are lesser. Uh, in case of uh, payment of dividend, the holders of uh, uh, the uh, CCPS uh, have a preferential right, and um, you know, for the payment of dividend, and uh, equity shareholders uh, uh, also uh, have the uh, uh, you know. Uh, the dividend uh, payment, but uh, it is uh, after the um, preference shareholders. So uh, uh, that is, uh, uh, you know, something uh, we 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 all know that uh, equity shareholders um, are basically uh, now uh, having that kind of a preference. Um, the repayment of capital, the holders of the shares uh, have a preference right as to the repayment of uh, uh, capital also. So if suppose the company becomes uh, uh, insolvent or uh, has uh, any financial trouble, so uh, the preference shareholders will uh, get a uh, first right to uh, return of their money. Uh, rather than uh, the equity shareholders. So equity share capital is more at risk uh, because uh, they uh, will be paid only after the money is left, if some money is left after the payment of preference shareholders. So this is also very clear uh, that uh, the, uh, the repayment of capital uh, is uh, more preferred in case of CCPS, uh, a preferred mode for the investor, uh, but uh, as compared to the equity shares. The rate of dividend uh, in case of CCPS is normally fixed. So sometimes uh, uh, even uh, you will see in the market 0.01% uh, uh, CCPS uh, are being issued because uh, the uh, idea is not to uh, give dividend, idea is to give them uh, leverage to uh, uh, get their conversion into equity at a later stage and also uh, to keep the controls uh, uh, in your own hands uh, if you are a founder who is issuing these equity shares uh, or CCPS and uh, uh, it is more of a structuring tool uh, 
uh, which is available uh, and uh, um, you know uh, the uh, in case of equity shares the rate of dividend is given year by year is announced year by year so uh, it really depends uh, uh, what uh, uh, you want to uh, uh, offer and uh, basically uh, the uh, uh, you have uh, a system where you um, are basically announcing a dividend every year and uh, that uh, dividend is then paid to the shareholders uh, convertibility uh, the preference shares can be converted into equity shares uh, and that is uh, uh, you know uh, very clear you know, to all of us but equity shares uh, um, are not convertible they are basically equity shares so uh, there is no uh, discussion about the conversion uh, in these uh, equity shares uh, in case of redemption preference uh, shares are redeemable during the lifetime of the company and the equity shares are redeemable during the uh, uh, you know uh, even uh, uh, they they can be after the uh, uh, you know lifetime of the company so uh, this uh, these are the basic uh, differential factors uh, which uh, are there uh, where we 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 can actually um, uh, take a call as to whether we should go for uh, equity or uh, you know we should go for uh, uh, the compulsory convertible preference shares. Um, so, uh, in equity, of course, there is less burden. Uh, the equity financing, uh, uh, there is no loan to repay. Uh, the um, uh, business doesn't have a monthly loan repayment or uh, such uh, uh, process to be followed. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, you also uh don't have to um, uh, you know uh, initially you generate profits so uh, uh, so you have uh, uh, better uh, control in, in case of equity because uh, uh, you get that gestation because in the case of loan you have to pay the interest in any case uh, or if uh, some loan uh, are also structured in a way that there is a, a you know gestation period given or uh, you start your interest payment after one year or two years um, and also uh, it, it gives the freedom uh, to channelize more money into the growing of the business and uh, credit issues are gone uh, so if you lack credit worthiness uh, uh, through your poor credit history or lack of financial track record Equity is a preferable mode uh, and more suitable than debt financing. There is no doubt about it uh, that equity is always a better option as compared to the debt financing. And uh, uh, you have to learn and gain from, from partners. Uh, so when equity financing, you might uh, uh, form informal partnership with more knowledge and experience uh, individuals. Uh, and uh, um, some might be well connected, allowing your business to uh, potentially benefit from their knowledge and their uh, uh, business network. So uh, if you uh, have strategic uh, uh, co-founders or strategic partners who might be interested in, uh, uh, you know, putting your their money into your company, that will be a win-win situation for you. So uh, it is always better to uh, have a uh, you know equity uh, partners uh, also uh, the other aspect which is very important is uh, uh, you know you can um, in case of equity it gives you uh, uh, you know clear leverage that uh, you are uh, basically uh, gaining uh, uh, from your partners but in case of a debt uh, they don't take, uh, uh, you know, participation in the decisions uh, of the company. So uh, that uh, is a very uh, clear difference between uh, equity and debt. Uh, but in CCPS, they they uh, uh, don't vote uh, in the uh, uh, process, but uh, 
uh, they they do participate uh, in terms of uh, they can ask for uh, uh, their uh, uh, meeting uh, for uh, you know uh, if they want to discuss anything together with the company they, they the class meetings are also held uh, but uh, uh, as per the uh, companies act also uh, they don't have the voting rights so uh, that's the broad difference uh, the so owners of preference shares receive fixed dividend um, and uh, uh, they uh, are uh, before the com they come before the common shareholders um, and uh, they have a higher claim on company assets uh, as i mentioned uh, because uh, in case of a bankruptcy situation or liquidation, uh, the preferred shareholders have higher claim on the company's assets. And uh, uh, they also, uh, uh, so, so conservative investors, they prefer uh, uh, CCPS route because uh, uh, they, they, they have a lesser risk as compared to the equity shareholders. And uh, also uh, they have additional investor benefits uh, they they have a fixed uh, uh, dividend which comes to them and uh, of course uh, uh, the uh, there can be ad additional dividend but what are the disadvantages now uh, uh, disadvantages is uh, uh, they share profit uh, the equity shareholders because uh, uh, they uh, are uh, uh, you know whatever dividend you are announcing it goes to them also. So if your company is a very profitable company or your project is a very profitable project, if you are issuing equity, you are actually uh, parting with your uh, pie of the profit and uh, giving it to all your uh, shareholders. Um, the second important aspect is the loss of control because as I said, that if you have to pass some special resolution or you have to pass uh, uh, certain... Uh, um, you know, take some bigger decisions. So you have lesser control uh, because all these shareholders will also have a voting right. And there can also be a potential conflict because uh, when you are uh, sharing ownership, um, you have to uh, offer the, uh, uh, you know, uh, there can be different differences in the vision, management style, way of running business. And, uh, you know, so you can, you have to consider all these issues uh, carefully. Uh, now, let us look at what are the disadvantages of uh, uh, issuing CCPS. Uh, uh, one, uh, the CCPS holder has no voting right. So, um, so for the investor standpoint, uh, this is a, a situation. So the investors are, uh, you know, they don't enjoy the same rights. Uh, so uh, uh, that is why uh, they they also have the common shareholders. So that means that company is not beholden uh, uh, to prefer shareholders. By way, it is uh, to the traditional equity shareholders. Uh, uh, they also have uh, only fixed dividend. Uh, although the guaranteed return on investment, uh, uh, you know, uh, make up to the shortcomings. Uh, so, uh, but if interest rates, rates uh, rise or uh, the, uh, you know, uh, the other, uh, uh, other uh, aspects are also there. So, uh, in that case also, uh, you have... Uh, uh, basically, you you get your fixed dividend only. So uh, you you are restricting your options of uh, uh, having a higher income. So that's a disadvantage for the CCPS holder, uh, and um, they can uh, uh, you know. But uh, as I said, there are both advantages and disadvantages. But advantages are more uh, as compared to. Uh, the disadvantages uh, as we can see from our discussion today. Um, I take a pause here. Um, if anybody has any question uh, so far, whatever we have discussed, I'll be happy to answer. Yeah. 
like yeah. e- e- equity i just understood like it is a part of a we are part of the company yeah. ccp ccps like how generally in market how how they issue and how we have to apply and uh, like we will what i understood is we will get interest and after certain time it will be converted into a preferential equity. yeah equity equity yeah. only so so one one big uh, factor is uh, uh, you know uh, the uh, time of conversion is fixed no so when uh, the ccps is issued uh, it is it is mentioned that okay uh, the conversion will happen say after 2 years right or uh, it is uh, uh, okay the conversion is going to happen when the company is going to launch series a for uh, its uh, next level of funding so all that is clear so you you definitely it is a compulsory convertible so first of all conversion will happen so uh, but uh, for the company it is a advantage that you are actually uh, uh, making uh, uh, you know that uh, uh, your equity uh, your decision making uh, you know you can take because if you have to pass a special resolution you need 75% uh, uh, you know voting rights with you uh, so if you are issuing equity and you have less than 50% equity with you uh, you are not able to pass uh, you know these resolutions uh, unless you uh, take the help of uh, other equity shareholders so uh, as a company it is a advantageous position that you are delaying the uh, uh, equity uh, uh, sharing and as a uh, uh, you know the uh, investor uh, it is a win win situation because uh, uh, in case there is a problem in case uh, uh, the company doesn't uh, uh, earn profits um, in that case you are going to uh, uh, you know get a preferential rights Uh, in terms of uh, return of your capital and also there is a fixed uh, uh, money which is coming to you irrespective of uh, the uh, so it's not a dividend it is a uh, kind of a interest which is coming to you uh, based on whatever is your uh, ccps percentage value so we, we will get the interest every year or it depends uh, you know uh, whatever is the ccps term uh, it can be um, monthly uh, basis also it can be yearly basis also so uh, uh, but normally uh, these ccps are issued at a low uh, interest uh, uh, rates uh, basically uh, they they have a, 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 you know kind of uh, uh, they are structured in such a way that uh, uh, the advantage is more to the uh, issuing company rather than to the people who are investing uh, so uh, uh, but uh, some companies are issuing ccps at a, a good uh, percentage of interest also uh, so it really depends how you uh, how confident you are about your project and uh, how you have structured that ccps uh, rajiv ji ccps treated as a debt ccps is a convertible preference share sir so uh, not uh, exactly as a debt it is a uh, compulsory convertible preference share so it's a uh, uh, you know it is doesn't come in directly in the category of a debt it is a preference share and with preferential voting rights and preferential uh, rights when the company goes into liquidation also so uh, they will have a first uh, right of uh, getting their money back after they are settled only then equity shares will be settled yeah that's clear but how is it treated in the book of accounts i mean this investment it's a it's a it's a share capital only it's share not capital. a debt yes not yes a debt. yes yes thanks thanks that's that's helpful yeah. right right so this is uh, uh, becoming a very uh, attractive tool these days uh, for companies to structure their uh, uh, you know uh, their balance sheet and the structure their offering because uh, uh, if you are issuing um, all uh, equity shares uh, then uh, you may not be having enough uh, uh, controlling interest on the company so i think from controlling interest standpoint 
it is very important uh, that the companies uh, issue CCPS rather than uh, going for the uh, equity shares. Any example you can give us of late any CCPS's investments being made in some? Many, sir. Many, many, uh, many uh, uh, companies. Uh, I don't want to name them, but um, there are a few projects I am handling where uh, uh, the uh, startup has issued the CCPS only and mm -hmm. uh, the conversion is going to happen uh, two years later. So, uh, and they got good valuation also. Uh, so uh, the uh, uh, now this is becoming a preferred tool uh, in the hands of uh, uh, the companies which are very confident about uh, their uh, uh, you know business oh, model yes. and uh, uh, it is attractive enough. So people are issuing uh, uh, CCPS. Yes, Divya, please. Yeah, sir. I wanted to ask if there is a, is any security or charge created. To ensure like the payment of interest to preference shareholders no uh, because it is not a debt no it is a share capital only right oh, so okay. so so it is uh, uh, no charge is required to be created charge okay. is required generally for the debt only right so okay. uh, so uh, these people they have uh, uh, fixed uh, you know uh, uh, sometime fixed uh, uh, percentage of uh, the preference uh, equity dividend, which is uh, showed as a dividend only with whatever is being paid to them. Yeah. Right, right. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, Biswiji. Uh, Rajiv, just for my understanding, for example, my company has 100 shares with me, right? Uh, sorry, yeah. my company has 100 shares. Right. And 20% 20 20 of the 100 shares, uh, I, I, uh, I think uh, of converting them into CCPS. Mm -hmm. Right, so I am left with eighty percent. Right, so no, uh, tomorrow, yeah, yeah, please, please. So, so, and uh, that twenty percent is it? Is it hundred plus CCPS or whenever I want to, you know, uh, dilute uh, my shares into mm -hmm. CCPS, I have to do it from that hundred shares. I'm uh, hundred equity shares. I'm, my company is holding. Yes, uh, I I'll tell you. Uh, basically, the dilution doesn't happen immediately in case of CCPS. So it is 100 plus that 20, which will be converted into equity at a later stage. No? So your 100 remains intact uh, for that period where uh, you have, suppose you have issued a CCPS for uh, with a tenure of two years. No? So your that conversion is going to happen uh, after that uh, tenure is over, that period of two years is over. So basically, it is, uh, you know, we are going to wait for uh, that event to happen or that period to end. Only then this 100 will become 80, no? when that conversion will happen. So till that time, your 100 is intact. That's how it is. So <clears throat> that means uh, if I'm, I am, uh, my equity, 100 equity is intact. Yeah. And top of that, I again reduce 20 as CCPS and against uh, that 20 CCPS, I also receive fund. But the only problem is that for the fund I receive, I have to pay a certain dividend to the investors, yes, correct? Yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. You have to pay some fixed amount to the investors and that uh, will be, um, of course, after the conversion happens, then that, uh, you know, they become equal to the other equity shareholders. So then uh, there is no need for paying any additional amount to them. No. So uh, it is still the time that conversion happens. So that's how it is uh, structured. So my expenses is just uh, the dividend I pay to the CCPS holders, correct? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Thank so, you. Rajiv. Yeah. So it is, it is a cost to the company, of course. Uh, so uh, uh, whatever uh, the dividend we are paying uh, will come in our books. And uh, this is uh, a, a kind of an advantageous situation because uh, uh, no doubt if you are earning money, you may have to pay a dividend to equity shareholders also. No? But uh, uh, that, uh, uh, you know, you also lose the controlling interest because your equity will become then 80. Uh, with you and 20 will go immediately to the equity holders, other holders, right? So in this, uh, uh, you know, you don't have uh, to uh, lose your control. 
you your control will be with you uh, but eventually it will uh, be converted so why it is compulsory convertible because the investor also wants that ultimately equity should come to them so uh, they have a double advantage that there is a fixed interest is also coming to them fixed dividend is coming to them not exactly interest and uh, uh, also they have a, a sure conversion which is going to happen after a certain period so uh, so normally uh, you know uh, people come with a horizon of 4 year or 5 years uh, for uh, when they invest in a company so if the conversion is happening before they have to sell or they have to hive off that equity uh, it's a win win situation for them so so they don't have to worry about it thanks rajiv yeah any other uh, questions so uh, what is the difference between compulsorily com convertible debt securities and ccps <clears throat> see debt securities are uh, you yourself ans uh, you know ask that question uh, whether charge is created no debt right. is a debt is a loan no so uh -huh. uh, so debt will be uh, mm, uh, you have to you have it is purely a loan it is not a, a preference share uh, in the company so uh, uh, if you are issu issuing debt security with the convertibility into equity at a later stage no so uh, mm -hmm. till the time uh, you know you have uh, uh, that debt uh, so you you will actually uh, create a charge uh, and uh, that debt is repayable to the holders with no uh, you know uh, perfect uh, uh, you know the interest is to be paid on that debt right so uh, there is no dividend uh, so dividend and interest payment i hope you understand they yeah. are different right so uh, so debt uh, is there are uh, convertible debt instruments also in the market but that is not considered as a preferred uh, uh, way because uh, uh, you know debt can be repaid also so uh, but con compulsory convertible debt instruments i have seen less prevalent in the market as compared to ccps right so thank you yeah so yeah only, only advantage for the founder is we he is paying less interest to the ccps holder less interest and also uh, the the advantage is uh, your controlling interest remains with you right uh, because uh, 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 and uh, you know in the resolutions which are to be passed uh, by the company uh, the decision making is based on the resolution you no know, at the annual general meeting or extraordinary general meeting of the company so in the egm uh, if you have issued equity that means uh, you only have say suppose you have 55% shares with you 20, 45% are with some other people so then you cannot pass a special resolution you have to ask for uh, support to those 45% holders so that you can take company decisions right but in the case of ccps uh, that is not the situation you have 100% with you uh, because you have not issued that uh, 45% so far it will happen it will go to them at a later stage so that's the advantage you have for issuing ccps yeah. thank you thank you yeah so biswajit please <clears throat> my question is uh, an early stage startup normally they are bootstrap and they don't see any profits also mm -hmm. now what is the funda of calculating the dividend for the ccps investor see normally uh, you know uh, if you are uh, you know not expecting any uh, dividend you know any profit say in first year second year or something i have seen uh, ccps is also being issued at 0.01% uh, uh, you know interest rate uh, because uh, for uh, the uh, advantage is more on keeping the controlling interest with you rather than uh, uh, you know any other thing and for the investor also uh, i don't think people are more focused on the interest part of it uh, they are actually 
uh, more concerned that okay ultimately they should get the equity uh, in the company so uh, if uh, the company is a really excellent project and uh, it's a very uh, fantastic investment opportunity because everybody is looking at uh, you know uh, that they will make money when their valuation of the company will go up so it's more valuation linked no so uh, uh, but uh, uh, if uh, you know uh, so you have promised that you have issued ccps at say 2% or 3% or 5% then the company has to pay that but uh, that is the same situation if you take a debt also you take a loan from the bank also you have to pay right so so that payment can be managed uh, through the funds which the company generate or even borrow but you have to pay right so practically speaking do you feel that uh, a ccps investor will invest in a startup uh, early stage startup because neither is neither at the current moment neither he has any hold on the equity mm -hmm. and neither uh, uh, there is i mean uh, 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 you know graph chart to show him the profitability of the company so uh, so the investors i tell you uh, i have seen uh, many ccps issues uh, being done recently if your project is already in profit or uh, the companies which are having a track record Uh, say uh, there are many now uh, companies which are bootstrapped and they have a track record of three years, two years already profitable track record. They are uh, uh, you know uh, a good investment opportunity for uh, getting into uh, uh, you know they can sell their CCPS very well. Even new companies, uh, if the project is very innovative, very strong. Uh, people are investing in ccps because uh, they they see the value uh, that okay ultimately they are investing in the valuation right so if you can foresee that okay today this uh, uh, valuation of say uh, uh, 100 rupees will become say 500 rupees or 5x in uh, uh, two years time or three years time why not no people are investing in ccps yeah thanks rajiv Yeah. Uh, Rajiv, just to continue forward. Yeah. Say, can the CCP since it's technically not a debt, can the dividend or the interest payments be triggered when the business makes profits, and not be triggered when it does not make profit? Actually, uh, uh, you know, the uh, in CCPS you have to mention that is why zero point zero one percent. Uh, you know, uh, CCPS are also being announced, and they are being taken by the investors because they are not more. Uh, they are uh, participating in a structured instrument which is being offered to them with the promise that okay, uh, uh, you know, after two years it will get converted into equity because they are more investing into the future uh, valuation of the company. So uh, uh, you know that is happening, sir, in the market. Uh, people are uh, uh, bringing out zero point zero one percent CCPS also, and people are taking it. So, so it's a it's a market reality. But yes, uh, uh, the uh, uh, you are restricting your outflow of uh, money uh, or interest payment. As Biswajit also asked the similar question that uh, uh, what is the advantage? Uh, because you know, or how can you pay higher dividend? Uh, when, uh, uh, but you have to pay dividend. So that's the uh, difference between, and also uh, the next important aspect is that you get a preferred return of your money. You no, know? uh, whereas in the equity, your return of money doesn't happen with that kind of a preference. So uh, you you end up uh, um, you know losing your capital also if you are in equity. But if you are in a CCPS, uh, you uh, have, uh, you know, by selling the assets of the company, you can expect some return of the capital in case of uh, insolvency or in case of losses in the company. That's the biggest advantage. Yeah, Vishwajit. 
Oh, no, I think I, I forgot to lower my hand. Uh, okay, my okay, hand. all right. <laughs> so I think uh, uh, we well understood uh, that uh, what is the difference between equity and CCPS. And uh, in case uh, you have any further questions or any further queries, you can you are free to connect with me. Uh, and in case you are still not part of the community, uh, do uh, uh, join uh, Startup Change Leaders. Uh, we hold uh, uh, regular uh, events. And this is my uh, WhatsApp number, uh, 9811453353. Uh, please uh, uh, ping me. Uh, I'll add you to our WhatsApp group also. And uh, we will have uh, uh, more uh, uh, interaction uh, in uh, our future uh, programs. Uh, I'm also uh, in touch with few people who are uh, dealing with overseas uh, uh, startup uh, uh, investments. So maybe in future uh, programs, we'll try and uh, uh, give you idea of what is happening in the startup space in other countries as well. And we will try and uh, compare our situation with the uh, uh, Indian situation with that. So uh, do tune and keep tuned in. Uh, so thank you so much for joining. Yeah. Yes, Debya. Yeah. So uh, uh, just a request as company secretaries, it is our duty to advise our boards for yeah. various uh, modes of fundraising. So it's just yeah. a request in the coming sessions. Can we please discuss in what scenarios should we advise our boards to use a right issue or a CCPS issue or a private placement? Uh, so that would be really helpful. So thank you. Sure, sure, sure. Divya. We'll definitely uh, hold one session uh, focused on that. And uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, this forum is more of... Uh, uh, where we have all professionals and even investors and uh, startup entrepreneurs, but uh, we can have a separate uh, uh, discussion on uh, how the company secretaries uh, should uh, uh, advise their boards. So definitely we'll, we'll cover that. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. So thank, thank you, you everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, please. Uh, thank you, Rajiv. I said thanks. Yeah, thank you, thank you, uh, and uh, uh, do uh, join in and uh, Drew help us uh, spread the message of our community. Uh, uh, invite more of your friends to the community so that everybody can uh, be benefited from our activities. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.